October 1st is National Black Dog Day, which encourages people to adopt black dogs. So in this episode of The Great Show of Greyhounds, I wanted to share with you the story of how we got Mate, our black greyhound. Black dog syndrome is a phrase that animal shelters and adoption organizations use when referring to the tendency of people to skip over black dogs when they look to adopt a pet. Black dogs are frequently thought to look more intimidating, and that can make a person perceive them as being aggressive, but that point of view would not be very accurate because their disposition is no different than that of any other color of dog. Regardless, animal shelters on average have black dogs in their care for longer periods of time than that of dogs of other colors, simply for the reason that people feel uneasy about adopting them. Knowing this, when we moved out of my condo and into this house several years ago and decided to get a second greyhound, we reached out to the group that we work with, Heartland Greyhound Adoption, and asked them if they had any black dogs that they were having difficulty placing, and they told us they had three. Normally when Heather and I are looking to get another pet, we're not being very choosy about what that animal looks like. But in this instance, we wanted to help out Heartland Greyhound Adoption by taking a dog off their hands that other people were passing up. We arranged to meet all three of these dogs at the same time. The first one did not care that we were around at all. The second one was only interested in smelling a tree. And the third one walked right up to Heather, nuzzled his head into her lap, and let out a really big sigh. His name is Walkabout Mate, and he chose us. Mate is a very good boy, and he is super cuddly. He always wants to snuggle on the couch, and if for any reason you were to stop petting him, he'll let you know. <laughs> Mate was retired early when he was about two. He didn't race much because he was kind of a goofball and may not have put it together that he was supposed to win his races. Now he spends his days running around the backyard and playing with his toys. Despite not being very good at racing, he is surprisingly competitive when playing chase with our other dog, Wilson. A really endearing quality of Mate is how much empathy he has. He's very much aware of how other people are feeling around him and he will try really hard to make a person feel better if he can tell that they're upset about something. He would make a really good therapy dog. Mate's most favorite thing ever is food. He will sit as hard as he can so that he can get a reward. Sitting is the only trick that we've ever taught him, so he uses it all the time to let us know that he is present and that he is a good boy. The main takeaway that I hope everyone gets from this video is that even though a black dog can look scary, they are only mean if they learn that behavior from humans. Either due to being trained to be protective and be a guard dog, or if it's a reaction to how someone has treated them badly. Any dog can have any personality. It doesn't matter what their color is. What I hope I've demonstrated today is that Mate has a lot of really good qualities, but there is one drawback to having a black dog. They are really difficult to take a good picture of. I have deleted so many photos off of here that just did not work out because they came in as just being solid black blobs. I find that I have the most success if I take a picture of a black dog when they're backlit. So for this episode's photo finish, I am sharing this backlit picture of Mate and I will be posting it to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And I encourage you to reply back at Great Show with a picture of your black dog using the hashtags Photo Finish and National Black Dog Day. The next episode of The Great Show finds us back at the emergency vet because Olive has, again, fallen down the deck stairs, tearing open her foot and exposing the bone. So I have to do something with these deck stairs. So I'm going to show how I have padded them to keep the dogs safe if they fall down. A link to that video as well as the previous can be found over here. You can also watch any other video at youtube.com slash great show. The subscription link is here on the screen. Don't forget to follow us on social media at great show. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.